And now to create the, the application class, I say File, New Application. So I'm going to save this. Well, let's use Save All. I'm going to save this as use dog underscore u and use dog underscore p. So this is the program. Let's make this form slightly smaller so that it fits the recorded part of the screen. And you can see that this program, my application, is executable. It has that little green button over there. And you can see that this program also makes use of other libraries or classes. A Windows class, a message class, a sysutils class, etc. But it must now also make use of our personally created dog class. And that was dog underscore you. So remember to put that in there. This application class of ours must use the dog class. Great. Our question says to us that we must use this program to make use of the dog class. I've already made uh, done that. I made use of that dog class. Now we should have a button for create a standard dog, display a dog, and then create all of those. So let's put the buttons on the screen quickly. I need 11 buttons in all, so if I press the shift button down and I click on this button, now I can quickly, by merely clicking, put 11 buttons on the screen. There they are. And to get rid of the highlighted blue line, which it will indicate that what, wherever I click now I'll be putting buttons, click on the arrow and let's just arrange these so I highlight them all and right click on one of them and click on position and say size and let's sh shrink uh, grow to the largest in height and in width and let's also right click on it again and say under position align them on the left sides and vertically we space them equally great so that's quite neat. I would probably need a rich edit so that I can display all these things. And I'm going to change the rich edit's name to red out and remove the lines part. There we go. And save it. In our instruction we can see that the top three buttons are about create, display and create unique. So we might as well move those three to this side over here and over there. Now I'm going to align them as well. So click position and align their top sides. Vertically their tops. Okay, and we space them equally horizontally. That's great. So I'm going to quickly go and rename the buttons and you don't have to watch me do that and I'll be back in a moment. So here I've created the buttons and changed their captions. If we look at get breed for example, so that's the accessor method and I've changed the caption as well as the name for every little button. So let's start by putting the code in for each of these. We do want to create a default constructor. No, we've created the default constructor. We want to make use of the default constructor. So let's double click on this button and look at what we have here. I want a global variable called my dog and it must be of type t dog so notice here I make use of the unit or the dog class that's the file name of the dog class and here I create a dog object my dog is of type t dog so I'm declaring the object and now I need to instantiate that object and I do that in my button. So I'm going to say my dog colon equals t dog dot create. Now this is the default constructor that I'm calling. So this will assign default values to the dog. In other words, the breed will be mongrel, etc. That's done now. We've created the default constructor. Looking at the third button, that should be create a unique dog. So in other words, they are actually giving us a clue that they want us to use the parameterized constructor. So the one that I refer to here. Double click on it and perhaps now is a good time to show you that I can create many dogs of the T-Dog class. So I'm going to create your dog also of type T-Dog. And in this 
parameterized constructor, let's say that that your dog colon equals t dog dot create and now suddenly there are two of them. Create this one or create with no parameters. And of course I want to use the parameters now. And it starts off with a breed, so let's make that Alsatian. And then it wants a name, so let's make this Bruno. And then a height, so make it 77 centimeters. And finally a gender or a sex, and let's make it male. So getting back to our instructions, we've done the first three buttons. And now we must look at display dog breed, display dog name, so display all of those. Let's go back to Delphi. So now we must sort out these. I'm going to do a few of them and then you can do the rest. So get breed, I suppose we should display it on our rich edit. So I'm going to say readout.lines.add the breed is plus and now we call our my dog dot get breed function and that's all we need. So I'll do one more for you. Let's do get height. So readout.lines.add the height of my dog is plus, let's just give a space there as well, int to string of get height. Not get height, no, 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 no. This should be what my dog dot get height. And I think I need another bracket and a semicolon. So now I think you can go and do all the other accessor methods. Those are those four functions. Let me do the set breed one. So in set breed I'm going to ask the user to give me a breed and then I'll change breed to be that value. So I need a local variable and I'm going to say variable br colon string. So br colon equals input box open brackets and it wants an instruction enter a breed and again I'm going to say the same a breed and let's just enter a default value of Fox Terrier close the brackets and now I must call the set method of my t-dog class so this is a procedure it's not a function so I will say my dog dot set breed and let's make this br so we'll be able to test if this works by displaying it afterwards so I'm not going to now do all the other methods you can do them yourself but let's run the program for the first time now we can for the first time run this program and notice it has opened the dog class in other words the object definition class and it complains it says into string is doesn't exist undeclared identify into string and that's because this unit that we've created makes use of into string but actually into string is stored in a Delphi separate class or separate unit that must be called so in order to call this I go up to the top of the dog unit the dog class and here under interface I'm going to put in users sysutils the into string function is stored in sysutils so if I now try and run again uh, let's hope that that error has disappeared and it has we have some other error let's see what this error is about declaration expected but a oh, procedure oh my goodness I need to spell better procedure there we go let's create the default constructor and display it so there it brings up my dog object has a name of Max and it is a mongrel and it's 53 centimeters high and it's male. Let's uh, see if it works for get breed. Yeah, the breed is mongrel and I think I only did get name. No, it was get height. The height of my dog is 53. Great. You should have still done the others. Let's create a, a personalized dog. Uh, having clicked on that, I've created a personalized dog and if I display this, it should be different. Yes, mongrel. Oh but that is still displaying the values for my dog and if we create the personal one we should be displaying the values for your dog so let me go and change uh, something so that we can do that so I have gone and put some new code under this button and the line that I add was readout.lines.add your dog.toString 
So I haven't fiddled with the dog class at all. I merely called the two string method for a different dog now. So if I run this and I click on create personal one then it created the dog or instantiated the dog and it displays it by that second line of code which I added here. So the last things to test will be these buttons over here. I know I've only done a few of them but let's look at get breed Get breed crashes right now because I haven't created the default constructor and get breed is written for the default dog. So let's first create dog and display the mongrel. Now if I say get breed, the breed is a mongrel and if I say get height, the height is 53. If I say set breed, it will give me this input box and allow me to set the breed to fox terrier and if I say display then suddenly the new the my dog is changed to fox terrier great i hope this has helped you to get an understanding of how to write a user defined class and an application class from beginning to end